In the early 1900s, Jacksonville was home to one of only two electric streetcars in the United States. But by the 1940s, it was all about buses, when the Jacksonville Coach Company began and then expanded the following year after acquiring the assets of Orange Lines and merging with the Motor Transit Company. Two years later, it merged again, this time with the Beach Motor Transit Company. Then in 1952, the Jacksonville Coach Company was purchased by the City Coach Lines, which also operated transit systems in Michigan and North Carolina. Three years later, in 1955, the Florida State Legislature created the Jacksonville Expressway Authority, to build the expressway system in and around the Jacksonville area. It was also responsible for building several bridges, like the Hart Bridge into downtown. Public transit was still the domain of private industry. Over the next two decades, however, as ownership in the automobile continued to increase, bus ridership was rapidly declining. The federal government couldn't assist private companies with public tax dollars. So instead, it began planning the development of urban transit systems across the country. Here in Florida, the legislature determined in Jacksonville that task would go to the Expressway Authority. So on September 1st, 1971, 50 years ago, its name was officially changed to the Jacksonville Transportation Authority. But JTA was a transit agency in name only. It had no vehicles. When a fare increase by the coach company further eroded its ridership, Jacksonville Mayor Hans Tanzler pushed for JTA to take over transit operations in Jacksonville. 15 months and 10 days after it became the Jacksonville Transportation Authority, JTA acquired the rolling stock and all assets of the coach company, including 157 buses, land and building for maintenance, storage and operations. The total price was just over $3 million, with the federal government paying two-thirds of the cost. Florida Department of Transportation and the Jacksonville City Council each paid a half a million dollars to make up the balance. JTA immediately began to tweak the system, making improvements, adding service, and reducing fares. The result was a 10% increase in ridership its first month in operation compared to the previous year. Now, 50 years later, the JTA is one of the most respected, innovative transit agencies in the country and is currently leading the wave of autonomous vehicle technology in the public sector.